Okay, today is Monday, April 30th, and we are leaving our house. Dad is our chauffeur. Joey and I are in the van. We're heading to the airport. Joey and I are going to visit Uncle John and Aunt Amy and cousins for Abigail's First Communion. And uh, the other two boys, Charlie and Jack, will be staying with Dad for the week. Let's show the tulips. And we've got our annual tulips right here. One kind of more. At their high point, more or less. Yep, this group kind of fizzled a little there. Those are the daffodils, yeah. Okay, so say bye, Dad. Bye. We'll just show a uh, point this way and just kind of narrate as we leave the. Okay, uh, and that's our swimming pool, community swimming pool, which we can just a few feet from our house, we can walk to it. And we're getting ready to drive by a couple of our neighbor friends' houses on the way out of here. So over here to the right, we have the Duncan family. Joseph is in Charlie's fifth grade class. Also plays hockey. And, and also plays hockey and baseball on different teams. A um, uh, friend named Melanie, this is the greenhouse. The girls are in Charlie's class, Barb and Dave Green. And then we have Sheila and John Murray, our friends from Ireland who live here. Oh, and this is kind of sad. We have Becky Corbett's old house, who coincidentally now belongs to our optometrist and her husband and family. I wish we could visit him. Yeah, Joey just said he wishes he could visit his friend Nicholas. So now we're on the main drag here, right? Yeah, we're on the main drag through Stonemow Farms. This is actually getting to be a main drag in the city because it actually Show goes. Jason Lewis's house, the greenhouse. Right okay, there. Jason Lewis's house right here. Conservative commentator greenhouse right there. Um, that was the back of his house, and he is a conservative commentator on talk radio, also an author of some books. And he and his wife, Lee, live in our neighborhood with their two daughters. This is a roundabout. George, I don't think, is a big fan of roundabouts. Although I, do, I like roundabouts. Okay, I like them myself because they help impacts. If you get into a fender bender it's going to be a little less dangerous than at a normal four-way stop so I like them because they're European I love everything European oh okay that's a joke by the way but you do like them I do like roundabouts yes and then we're leaving the neighborhood this is the newer part of our neighborhood that's only been around a, um, probably about five years I'm guessing maybe six but it seems like they just started it about five years ago or so and we're getting ready to leave the neighborhood here Maybe just take it up through um, the Bailey Nurseries and St. Ambrose. Okay. And I don't know, maybe we show East Ridge and Bielenberg too. Yeah, why not? You want a long video. Okay, so here comes our, our uh, entrance to the neighborhood, which is an exit for us right now because we're actually leaving the neighborhood. And this is a lot of our new development, old farmland new development. This is the Bailey's Arbor, um, townhomes and condominiums over here. They're a neighborhood that was built, um, started being built maybe a year or two or three after our neighborhood. And we're getting ready to turn right onto, what is this, Bailey Road. Yep. Um, and... Bailey's kind of funny because it's uh, a little bit the dividing line between uh, I think this is cottage both, grove and, yeah, yeah. I think it's Woodbury on both sides, but it really is kind of more cottage grove over here. And, and on is, on the south side here on the left, it's all underdeveloped. Okay, uh, so here's one of the last few uh, farm barns in the area, old farm barns, and this is Bailey Nursery back here. All these buildings and and machinery and plants, big uh, wholesaler nursery. I don't think they sell to individuals, but they sell to. Um, their wholesaler to nurseries around the area. And then we're about to come up on our church on the left. Very big Catholic church, St. Ambrose, or big for the area. Right Not before far. we get there, just to say on the right or the north side are all the houses in development. So Yeah, so we've got a couple of developments. This one is going to be Wedgwood Park right here. Oh, there's our church. And here is our church, St. Ambrose of Woodbury. The school and the um, par uh, the church itself. Pretty much a wonderful parish. Not too much we would change about it. There's some liberal elements to it, but nothing too radical. They support life. That's the most important thing. So, 
Uh, we're at, uh, Here's another. Um, this is kind of your old money neighborhood, Wedgwood, for Woodbury. Um, a lot of people who have a little more wealth than others would probably live in this neighborhood. Um, a couple might live in Stone Mill Farms and Dancing Waters. They always do a nice job getting uh, tulips out in the spring. Yeah, their front entrance is very nice. That's Wedgwood Valley right there. There's several Wedgwood neighborhoods. Wedgwood Park, Wedgwood Valley, Wedgwood. They have a golf course, um, a private golf course. Um, no, it's public. Oh, it's public. I'm sorry. You can pay to use it. Um, I'm not sure if you're a resident. Do you get cheaper fees or not? And then we're about to come up on our other famous landmark in Woodbury, which is the Bielenberg Sports Dome and Eastridge High School. And our boys will be going to Eastridge High School when they're in high school. They play a lot of sports over there right now. Um, Jack is currently playing tennis at Eastridge High School Tennis Courts. Both, or Charlie is playing travel baseball uh, through Eastridge Association. And in the background, it's hard to see. It's hard to kind of see. A little foggy this morning. A little foggy, but the school is back there. It's massive. It's uh, put some colleges to shame. Yeah, it's bigger than a lot of junior colleges. And here's the sign for the high school coming up right here. Well, I didn't know they had a girls lacrosse team. And then they have the tennis courts kind of back here, which are hard to see because we're driving. And you've done a lot of stuff over there at the tennis courts. Yeah. Both teaching and participating, and Jack has too. Yep, Jack hasn't taught though. I don't know if he's quite ready for that. Okay, and then we have our baseball fields, some of them that we'll play on this season. Right here, Jack will play his big uh, uh, tournament for third grade pitch ball. And there's the Bielenberg Sports Dome. The boys both play, or all three play hockey there and have all three taken ice skating lessons. Several of them have taken indoor soccer there as well and played um, one or two indoor football games for the season. And here's some of the soccer fields, football fields, and uh, just general fields they use for football and soccer and some of the camps. And here's our other big roundabout in Woodbury. We have two in Woodbury, this one and the one in our neighborhood, and I believe there's talk of building more. And then we're done here, well, so we're well, heading. And then uh, I'm just going to add that uh, our boys have certainly gotten their money's worth out of uh, Bielenberg tax dollars on everything. From oh, yeah. Football to soccer to skiing so, lessons to I'm going to be a hypocrite and not raise my hand when they want to try to cut taxes for Bielenberg because we get benefit out of it. Ha, ha, ha. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm in favor of cutting taxes, but I, uh, I can't get too upset when I, I lose the fight. Now, maybe we just keep it on one, one final time. We'll hit Bailey Elementary because we got a few memories at Bailey Elementary. Oh, and then yeah. We'll, then we'll be done here. Yeah, both boys, older boys, have played football um, in um, uh, Woodbury Athletic Association and don't think through Eastridge soccer. there. They've also played Woodbury Athletic Association soccer. Joey has done soccer here. So all three have done soccer at Bailey Elementary Fields, played soccer games, had practices. Jack and Charlie have both had football practices through WAA's football. Eastridge Association does not use Bailey for football unless an they're playing a game. Yeah, and Jack had an ECFE class at Joey Bailey did Elementary. Did Charlie too? No? No, just Jack. Okay. All right, and then the one final comment I'll make on this lovely Bailey Road, which I like a lot, but one of the things that drives me nuts about it and drives me nuts about Minnesota is we're on the seven mile stretch roughly. Uh, you know, if we're heading to the airport or whatever, not a stupid stop and go or a holiday gas station to be found. Yeah, you have to go off route here to get, although I'm wondering if that will change with all the road development up here at some point, they might add a, I can't imagine a gas station not wanting to try to get there and land a spot. You'd be a gold mine for a gas station, at least for a time period, right. until other gas stations figured it out and came over to get some of the profits. but. Oh. That's the free market system, and we're okay with the free market system. Yeah, so it's a lovely drive here along Bailey. We, we do it a lot for various different reasons, and um, now I'm kind of sad because I'm dropping Joey and Jen off at the airport we'll live for a week. I'm sad because I'm going to miss them, and I'm sad because i got a lot of work to do. Yeah, and, the uh, schedule's not as bad as I thought, actually, and not having Joey makes it a little easier. We'll remove a couple of activities. Um, it, the only night that looks like you'll have some major stuff is uh, uh, Tuesday, maybe. Might be a few conflicts, but the rest of it works out pretty reasonably well. And then up here, I'm going to end this with this little silly stop sign. So they've got these digital stop signs that 
above the regular or below the regular ones and it tells you what your speed is versus the 